For many people, the most used software on their computer is their web browser. It can take you almost anywhere you want to go on the internet. To help you find the one that best fits your needs, I'll count down the top five web browsers based on numerous factors, including performance, privacy and security, useful features, and cross-platform support. All in our top five are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five, from the folks at Google is the Chrome browser. While it is the world's most used browser, it's far from being the best. It's been passed up by many of its competitors that offer more useful features built into their browsers. On a positive note, it's not the resource hog it used to be. On lower end computers, turning on their energy saver feature can help to make Chrome run more smoothly. And just like the others coming up, it does have very good cross-platform support to sync your bookmarks, passwords, and other stuff across multiple devices. Another nice thing I could say about Chrome is that because it does lack many of the useful features found in other browsers, there is less clutter. And when you open it up, it's visually appealing with rounded corners. In the Chrome Web Store, there's more than 100,000 extensions available that can enhance the functionality of Chrome. These can also be used with all of the other Chromium-based browsers I'll be showing you coming up. Speaking of extensions, at some point this year, in 2025, Google will be rolling out what they call Manifest V3. This highly controversial decision by Google will limit what ad blocking extensions can actually block in Chrome, making them less effective. Do let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Up next, coming in at number four, is the privacy-focused Brave web browser. This open source browser is based on Chromium, giving you the ability to add extensions from the Chrome Web Store for added flexibility. By default, it blocks third-party trackers and ads on all websites, allowing web pages to load faster with less distractions. But you'll still see some ads that are from Brave's ad platform. Brave also blocks those creepy cross-site cookies that follow you from site to site. When you open Brave, you'll notice it has a nice looking interface. On their new tab page, in the upper left corner, it shows you the number of trackers and ads it's blocked on the sites you visit, along with the bandwidth and time saved. When you're on a site to see how many trackers and ads are being blocked, click on the Brave shield to the right of the address bar. If you're on a site that you support and don't want trackers and ads blocked, you can click on the toggle to turn off blocking. Brave now has their own search engine, which is the default in their browser. It's actually pretty good. Just like Google Search, it will show AI overviews after you do a search. You can also ask follow-up questions. Just like other AI, you might get a stupid answer, or it may be incorrect. Brave now has their own VPN. It's not bad, but for around $10 per month, there are better, less expensive VPNs out there that you can use. Coming in at number three is Firefox. This open source browser from the nonprofit Mozilla Foundation is the only one in our top five not based on Chromium. It initially launched in 2002, long before the others in this video, including Chrome, which was first released in 2008. Firefox is packed with a ton of features, including a screenshot tool, reader mode, blocks auto playing of audio and video, and a whole lot more. By default, it's good for privacy and security, blocking third-party cookies, along with trackers from social media sites, including Facebook. The reader mode comes in handy to remove most of the distractions from an article. It's located just to the right of the address bar. You just need to click on it, and you'll find various settings here on the left, including changing the text and layout. Let's exit reader mode. Its screenshot tool is very good as well. To do this, right click anywhere on a web page and select take a screenshot. To capture a region, left click on your mouse and drag. And then when you've captured your area, let go. Here the choices are save visible to capture only what is on your screen and save full page will auto scroll that page to capture the entire page. And as you can see, it captured the entire page. After you've done a screenshot, you can copy it to your clipboard paste it wherever you want, or download it to your computer. In a recent lawsuit regarding Google's web search monopoly, it was revealed that Google pays several platforms to be the default search engine. Going back to 2021, that amount was $26 billion. 
Firefox received 510 million, which was 86% of its operating revenue. If those numbers are similar for the past few years, and Firefox ends up losing the revenue from Google in the future, this could be the beginning of the end for Firefox as we know it, unless they find other ways to boost revenue. Ending the segment on a positive note, Firefox also has extensions to enhance the functionality of the browser. All of the best ones are here as well. Because Firefox is not based on Chromium, they will not be affected by Manifest V3, which I mentioned earlier, that will make some extensions obsolete. Before we get to our top two, here's a quick rundown of other browsers worth mentioning that might be of interest to you. For Mac OS only, Apple Safari is the absolute best built-in browser on a Mac to download other browsers that are much better than Safari. Arc Browser is an experimental browser I reviewed in an earlier video on this channel. It's designed to be a cleaner, calmer alternative to other browsers. The Norwegian-based, Chinese-owned Opera is still alive and kicking, albeit a shell of its former self. It has a ton of features, including ad blocking and a so-called VPN. It's available for all the major platforms, including Chromebook. Opera also has an interesting browser they call Opera GX, with features geared towards those that play video games. This one's available for Windows and Mac OS. And the last of our bonus picks is the Tor browser, Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, it's an open source modified version of Firefox that uses the Tor network to anonymize web traffic and protect users' privacy online, typically on the dark web. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Vivaldi. Based on Chromium, it's one of the best browsers for those of you focused on productivity. It was co-founded by one of the co-founders of Opera. If you missed the good old days of Opera prior to its sale, Vivaldi is a good one to check out. It's packed with a ton of features, so I'll just highlight some of those in the various categories. For privacy and security, an ad blocker and tracker blocker are built in. For productivity, tab stacking and tab tiling are quite useful. There's also a reader view mode to get rid of the clutter on a web page. For customization, there are themes to change the look of the browser, and they have interesting partnerships with Philips Hue and Razer that can give you a more immersive experience. And there's various tools built in, including an email client to manage multiple accounts, a calendar, a screenshot tool, and a whole lot more. When you launch Vivaldi, there's a handy speed dial to launch your favorite sites. At the top, in addition to the speed dial and dashboard, you can access your bookmarks, history, notes, calendar, and mail. And the left side panel lets you quickly access its other features, and you can pin your favorite sites here as well. In addition to Windows, Mac, and Linux, Vivaldi also has apps for Android and iOS. In the top spot, coming in at number one, which will come as a surprise to many of you, is Microsoft Edge. Available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, with apps for Android and iOS, this Chromium-based browser has improved quite a bit. Over the past year, they've put a lot of work into boosting its performance. A year ago, with all of its features, it became quite sluggish. Optimizing its features has made it a lot better. With Startup Boost, it launches quickly, and Sleeping Tabs releases system resources to the tabs you're currently using. Its shopping tool can help you to save money with price comparisons and coupons. This will come as a shock to some of you. Amazon does not always have the best price. There are features for gamers to improve a PC's gaming performance. And for productivity, there's a ton of features for that as well. Being able to split your screen is especially useful for PCs and laptops where you don't have a second monitor. To do a split screen, select the three dot menu icon in the upper right and select split screen. Then select what you want in the other half, or you can do a search or enter a web address up here. To do a screenshot, just click the icon to the left of the menu icon. You'll have the same screenshot options I mentioned earlier with Firefox. A feature I'm warming up to is Microsoft's Copilot AI. To use it, click on its icon in the upper right corner. You could type your query in the box below, or for more fun, if you have a microphone, is to click the microphone icon to have what feels like an actual conversation where you can interrupt at any time. Here's an example. Hey, Brett. I'm here. Who invented the record player? The record player, or phonograph, was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877. Who is Nikolai Tesla? Nikolai Tesla 
often known as Nikola Tesla, was a visionary inventor and electrical engineer. What Best else did known he invent? Tesla pioneered technologies like wireless energy transmission, developed early designs for the radio. You and don't mind if I interrupt you, do you? Mm-hmm. So it's okay if I interrupt you. Absolutely fine. What's on your mind? Thanks for watching. Links to all the browsers mentioned are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Do let me know in the comments which browser is your favorite and why. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.